Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Diagrams tutorial series, you will learn how to create brick wall texture in PowerPoint. The brick wall texture you will learn to create looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? Once you create the 2D version, you can also create the 3D version by applying 3D effects to the texture that we have created. Let us see how to create the brick wall texture from scratch by going to a new slide. The first step is to go to Auto Shapes menu and under rectangles pick up this basic rectangle shape and draw the size of a brick. So this, this is the brick that we are going to replicate. Now select that one and while holding the control uh, button move the rectangle to the desired position you can have it as close to the previous one as you want now select both of them and while holding control make one more copy and hold them there and if you want one more brick here you can hold control and move it here so now we have got the first level of bricks ready the first uh, the bottom level ready now select all of them press control G to group them and now this whole group can be replicated so you're going to press control tab and make a copy here now when you make another copy of the same wall it doesn't look like uh, a brick wall so all you need to do is to move this slightly off so that you're able to see a proper brick wall uh, arrangement now once you do that once again the next step is to ungroup them. Group, ungroup. Now align this brick with the, the bottom one. So there we are, we are able to do that. And here again, do the same thing for this one. Now this looks more like the brick uh, wall arrangement. Now that we have done this, control G so that you can group them. And all you need to do is to keep um, duplicating this till the time you get the height you desire maybe I can select all of them once again and have them arranged on top and there we are the structure is ready now ungroup all of them now we have individual bricks available now the time is it is now the time to add some gradient to these um, shapes now select all of them now go to shape fill and the color i'm going to use is this one called as red accent 2 darker 25 percent now this looks fairly plain i don't want it that way so i'm going to give some gradient color so once again let me go to shape fill and this time go to gradient and the gradient i'm going to choose is this one called as linear right now this looks more like a brick wall texture and the shape outline can be something grayish like this one if you want to have slightly thicker um, outline you can do that and there it is so there we have the 2d version of the brick wall texture let me show you how to apply the 3d to the same one so let me select all of that and press ctrl G to group it right click go to format shape and let me go to effects option and under 3d rotation let me choose the preset called as perspective contrasting left which is under perspective so click on that one and you can see a 3d perspective applied to the wall now the wall is slightly tilted in the direction that we don't want so let me go to z rotation and let me call it zero degrees and there the wall is straight now we need to apply depth so that we are able to mimic a proper wall here so let me go to 3d format and the depth i am going to add is say 30. if you are not happy with the thickness of the brick you can always add 50 and the shape outline can actually be either removed to get this effect or you can go to depth and add this color 
for the depth so that is how it is done now to get a little more of a bevel effect all you need to do is to go back once again to 3d format and you can apply this the front bevel and also the bevel for the bottom and this is this is the the brick uh, 3d brick texture now you can apply shadow and the perspective shadow this is called as perspective diagonal upper right and there it is our 3d wall is complete a 3d wall is a very beautiful metaphor for obstacle and you can use it quite a lot in concept based business slides let me show you some applications of brick wall taken from our powerpoint ceo packs this is the first example here we talk about overcoming obstacle to be number one and here you have number one behind the wall and we are able to reach beyond the wall by using a ladder so you can write your text here let me give you another example here here it shows crossing the barriers to reach your goal and you can talk about the barriers here let me show you another example and this one is about a bridge where we talk about the current situation and the desired situation and the various stages of moving to the desired situation so these are some of the various ways in which you can use brick wall texture in powerpoint if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself you can always take a look at our off the shelf solutions like powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you like the tutorial on creating brick brick wall texture in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, videos and if you want to read some articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.